Hello there, my friends. So we're going to take these eye health COVID-19 rapid antigen tests. I'm going to show you how to do it. Self at home results in 15 minutes. That is what we're doing today. Well, I took one of these, so it's open. So I'll show you how I do this step by step. So step by step instructions. Prepare your materials. Get that, get the swab, get the test card, and get the liquid. Get it all ready. And then, <clears throat> do, 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 open the package, take out the COVID-19 test card. So right here is a little notch. You can tear that open, take out the test card. Handle it like this, so that you don't accidentally contaminate anything. All right, take out the empty tube and the sealed solution. And that's like taped on here, so you could get some scissors. Let's tear it like that. that. Here's the liquid. All right. Here's the empty tube with the stopper on it. It's got a dropper. And you're going to use that dropper to drop liquid into here. And so you don't want to do that. All right. This thing, you don't want that to stand up at some point, but it's not doing a really great job. So I'm going to use the box to like brace it up. There's a silica package. Don't eat that. Okay. They always say, do not eat. And then, uh, yeah, collect a sample. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove this swab right, from this. And I just do it like that. Pull the swab out. Don't touch it with your fingers because you might have gotten COVID from like a surface or something. You might have it on your fingers. So you want to take this, put it up your nose about three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch, for those of you who are you know, not sure about that, is about that much. So you're gonna wanna go not much more than the swab. So somewhere about there at maximum, more like down here though. So you don't wanna see me stick this up like that. So I'm gonna just gonna do it. And then it says to, you know, slowly brush like five times like in a circle. And on the other test I did, it said like, you don't want to be up there for like 15 seconds or so. Do both nostrils. It should be uncomfortable. It should feel like, you know, it shouldn't feel like you're scratching your brain, but it should feel like, you know, somebody's tickling the inside of your nose because you are. And then when you get the material, you need to, um, process the sample. So you need to tap the tube vertically on the table and twist the large orange cap to open the tube. So that's done. You're going to start the swab in the tube, touch the bottom of the tube, turn it, and squeeze the sides of the tube, express as much as possible. All right? And then you're going to um, Put the liquid in at one point. Do you put the liquid in this one? I'm going to insert swab in the tube. Here's what we do. We should, okay, so put the swab down. Take this, crack it open, or cut it, or twist it like that. That'll work. And take that liquid. And squirt it into the tube. All right. Let's get all that liquid in the tube. And then when you look at the bottom of the tube, there's like two little levels here. This the, this should fill up that first level. So now you take the swab and you put that in there, like that. And you just stir this 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
and a couple more for good measure. And then as you pull it out, you squeeze, right? So you squeeze, you go up and squeeze, right? You're squeezing all that DNA, all that COVID juice out of there. And then what you do is you take the cap, put the cap back on here, right? And then you're gonna take this off, right? And then you're gonna take three drops, right? Right here. No more, no less, three drops. So there we go. One, two, three. All right, and then you're just gonna wait. You put this cap back on, you throw it away. Actually, it doesn't matter at this point. And then we're gonna wait for 15 minutes. And once 15 minutes are up, we're gonna come back and we're gonna check and we're gonna see if there's two lines. So there should be a C line. 100% should be a C line because that's the control. And then the T is the test line. So if you get a matching line, then you know it's positive. If you get a faint line, you think it's still positive. If you get a T and not a C, then you messed up the test somehow. If you get neither one, then the test is expired and it's not good. So we'll be back in 15 and uh, we'll show you the results. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and we're back and it looks like... I'm testing negative for COVID. That's fantastic because I had COVID last week and it looks like this test is telling me, see that giant red control line? And there's nothing on the T. So that's great because I actually am trying to get a part in a TV production and they test for COVID. So if I'm testing negative, I am a happy camper. All right, so that's the health eye health, put an eye in front of anything nowadays, you can sell it. Eye health COVID-19 antigen, antigen rapid test, self-test at home results in 15 minutes. That's sort of true. I mean, it takes about five minutes to actually administer the test, get all the stuff together. So if this was helpful for you at all, please smash the like button and I hope to see you on the next one. And I hope you're healthy. Have a great one. Thanks.